evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's got to be from outer space. But I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. <sighs> the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now, seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boots. I love my job. Ooh-rah. People, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, PhD. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Ostalazine bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered and accidentally thawed half ape, half fish missing Link, he immediately made for the beach. Where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some ten million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Ginormous, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormous. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detroit, show me my monsters. 